Good afternoon, guys. It's let's see, it's about quarter to twelve, Friday, March first. Uh, this is going to be a two two uh, two part video, or not two part, but uh, trying to kill two birds with one stone video, more or less. Uh, last week, when I took you guys for a ride down to Larry's Great Western Meats to get the brisket, somebody made comments about the the 2010 Camaros. Uh, dash and it having two speedometers so I'm going to show them what the other display is all about and then the uh, the other part of the video is going to be on my my best car my, what I think my opinion is the best car movie and so let's get into this thing and we'll fire it up and we'll sit here and look at the display for a little bit now I can't remember if I read it somewhere or if I asked somebody the question. So what drives Las Vegas? But, yeah. Turn the radio down. But uh, the question was asked is why does it have two speedometers? And I was told or I read it somewhere that Chevrolet wanted to style the dash after the, uh, the 69 Camaro. But then uh, rather than doing analog, they wanted to give something different and give you uh, a digital readout. But the digital readout serves two purposes. Is, uh, is you can rotate and scan through it. It's got a navigation feature, uh, average vehicle speed, fuel economy, fuel range, trip to, trip one, and then back to MPH. Then we can switch the menus and do the vehicle information, tire pressure, change the units, speed warning, coolant temperature, remaining oil life. And then we're back to trip and fuel. So it serves two purposes. Uh, so that's what it is. Uh, basically, uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, some of I've seen three three digits on that thing is quite cool. I've uh, had a friend who uh, thought I was a little bit childish at my age to sit there, and when I go to work in the morning, it's about four four thirty in the morning, and uh, this one on ramp on the Flamingo to two fifteen is really nice to bring this thing up. And I bring it up to about 120, 125. But it's something about seeing three digits across there just uh, just does something for me. Um, maybe I am childish at my age, and maybe I just like driving a high performance car. So let's shut this thing off, and uh, we'll go back and uh, talk about now my favorite car movie. Okay. All right, so my favorite car movie. Well, first of all, it isn't these guys. Uh, these guys, in my opinion, crash too many classic cars to make a movie. Uh, can't stand taking a perfectly good classic muscle car and crash them. So these guys are okay, but uh, not really. Vanishing Point, that was a good one. Uh, definitely liked it. But uh, it was okay. It's not really Steve McQueen and Bullet. Another question would be is how many times can we see a Charger lose its hubcaps? And this is by a big, big uh, production company. This is number three in my book of being an all-time favorite. If we were to, uh, if I was going to have a number three this would be it. Bullet would be number two. And uh, yeah, I definitely like this one. And by no stretch of the imagination did Nicolas Cage and Gone in 60 Seconds uh, make my number one. Actually, what made my number one was the original Gone in 60 Seconds. That one I really like. So if we were to, if I were to sit there and say, who am I? the three best top car videos in my opinion or movies are 
would be Gone in 60 seconds. The original Gone in 60 seconds. Steve McQueen and Bullet and Tulane Blacktop. That's my opinion. This thing is a great movie. Yeah, it came out in 74. i just gotten back from Southeast Asia and I saw it with my wife-to-be in the drive-in drive -in here in Vegas. And uh, yeah, I really like this, this flick. Uh, time it had the record of most destroyed cars until the Blues Brothers came along but yeah this is good I like this one the best so there's my pick for the all-time greatest car car movie the original gone in 60 seconds that's all I have for you today guys so as always thanks for watching and we'll pick this up tomorrow on the 68 later